Keep on doing what you're doing. Hallelujah. Don't you dare throw in the towel. Don't you dare get weary and say enough is enough. But you gird up the loins of your mind and begin to say, no, 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 no. I know I've made the right choice. I know I've taken a stand for Jesus. And I'm going to continue to do what? Because the Lord is faithful. He's a faithful God. Hallelujah, Jesus. For you are lovely and your ways are wonderful. Oh, for you are lovely and your ways are wonderful. Oh, Lord, for you are lovely. And your ways are wonderful. I was created, I was created to worship you. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. And as you go on and you begin to read, more, you know, you'll see uh, Martha and Mary in action. Martha comes and runs to Jesus when he approaches Bethany. And he hadn't gotten there, but he was right on the outskirts. And so she heard and she ran there. Martha and Mary were still there. Mary didn't move. And then later, uh, at, he talked to her. She approached Jesus and said, uh, Lord, if you, if you just been here my, 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 my brother wouldn't have died you know I, but even now if you you know I believe that you could do something if you you will so he said um, your brother's gonna rise again so she I said I, I know I know Lord in the resurrection he's gonna rise again but uh, Jesus says I'm the resurrection and the life and as the conversation went on then she began to go back to her sister Mary and she began to tell her about that Jesus was there. So then Mary got up and there were those Jews following her. So if you look now, uh, verse 28, and when she had so said, she went her way and called Mary, her sister, secretly saying, the master has come and call it for thee. As soon as she heard that, she arose quickly and came to him. Now Jesus was not yet coming to the town, but was in that place where Martha met him. The Jews then, which were with her in the house, and comforted her, when they saw Mary, that she rose up hastily and went out, followed her, saying, she goes to the grave and uh, grave to weep there. Then when Mary was come where Jesus was and saw him, she fell down at his feet, saying to him, Lord, if I had been here, my brother had not died. When Jesus therefore saw her weeping and the Jews also weeping which came with her, he groaned in the spirit and was troubled and said, Where have you laid him? They said to him, Lord, come and see. And Jesus wept. But somehow or another Mary had that, that connection with, with, with the Lord. And uh, he was moved by her her pain and sorrow in the heart and and the Jews came with her when they saw Mary uh, um, come out of the house that they thought she he was going to the grave and 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 they had uh, professional mourners during those time and the professional mourners basically they were trained to just mourn and uh, you 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 know if a person coming from another country came and seen something like that they would thought boy that person was very very dear to these different people's heart. 
and but they were trained professional mourners and they would just weep and cry aloud just like they was their mother or father and coming in and hearing that you said lord wow but they were trained mourners and uh, so when they went to when they saw mary leave they had gone to weep with her and uh remember a situation where jesus uh there was a, a some son that died i believe it was a, a daughter no jairus daughter that's what it was um she died and then jesus came and the professional mourners were there. They were just mourning, just carrying on. And Jesus said, so why are you, make this, why are you making this at all? He said, that, 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 the maid's not dead, but she's asleep. Now, out of their heavy mourning, they just broke out and started laughing. It's like, he's crazy. You know, he's talking about she's not, uh, she's not dead. So they just broke out laughing. But I'm saying that to say that they were professional mourners. It was not something that was deep in their heart. And a loved one, it was just, they were paid, I don't know if they were paid, but they were professional mourners. So, but uh, it, it, be that as it may, Jesus uh, was touched by Mary, following Mary's life a little bit. He was touched by Mary. Remember he said he, Mary has chosen that good part. Both of them did good, but Mary did better because she was willing to sit at the feet of Jesus and be taught. You look at somebody that says, you are willing to sit at his feet. And be taught, therefore, you've chosen the good part. Hallelujah. And that good part is not going to be taken away from you. It's going to follow you in life. And you, 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 must be, uh, you will probably be amazed at where you end up in life, mothers, because you've chosen that good part. And as we go on here, we began to see here, uh, the Bible says in John 11 that it was that same Mary uh, that... Um, which anointed the Lord with ointment and wiped his feet with her hair, whose brother Lazarus was sick. So we know the story of the, uh, that Mary that anointed him uh, with her hair and that um, ointment, and, 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 and uh, uh, it, was, it, was, it was a situation where God had healed her. And because he had healed her with some, of some deep hurts, she loved more. And there's something about a person when God has delivered them out of certain painful situations and oppressions uh, that, that they love a lot. And so that's what God was, was showing uh, through his word. Uh, some didn't understand Mary coming and here he was in the house and she coming and standing and weeping and taking her hair and wiping uh, the tears with her hair. And then those people getting indignant and Judas was like, why? And, and then this ointment, a very precious ointment, costly. And it's like, why, why, why are you wasting this stuff on him? And Jesus said, leave her alone. She's anointed me for burial. But you see the love that she had for Jesus, whatever that was. It was said that was some of the, the, most, the, the costliest perfume during that day. But she took it and broke it and just began to put it, uh, uh, put it on him and all on his head. And then she uh, just broke it and then the fragrance lit up the whole place there. And Judas, who was a thief, said, you know that you could have sold that and, and, and really given it to the poor, that money that it brought. And the Bible pointed out his motive. That he, that he said that not that he cared for the poor but, uh, but because he was a thief but it was, it, was, it was precious ointment and she loved Jesus following her life she loved Jesus she loved Jesus and she chose the better part I am saying mothers in the same way when you have given your life to Jesus the odds were against you, and some of you, even after you gave your life to Jesus, you've had some real challenges. But I believe God wants you to know that you've chosen that good part, and that good part shall follow you. It will not, hallelujah, be taken away from you. And to show you something about Mary now, as the Bible makes it clear that wherever the gospel is being preached throughout the whole world and whenever that name and that deed that she did is going to follow her. Y'all hear what I'm saying? 
her name, her memory was blessed. And the Bible says the, the memory of the just is blessed. So it ain't like a person uh, is remembered uh, in a negative manner, but in a very blessed manner. Her, when you think about Mary, it, it, it's a blessing because the gospel is being preached, but there's Mary's name being talked about, the good deed that she's done. So I, I, I and, and I thought about that, how just following Mary's life, how uh, because she loved and chose the best part. You don't have to be concerned about your future when you've chosen the good part. Hallelujah. <laughs> Glory to God because God keeps good records. He knows every sacrifice you've been making. He knows um, the things that you've done and chosen him in spite of the challenges that you faced him. The devil wanted you to give up. The devil wanted you to just give up altogether and throw in the towel and begin to say it ain't worth all this. But you've chosen the good part um, through all kinds of trials. <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory to God through oppressions, through rejections, through heartbreaks and all of that, through financial lack. Hallelujah. You've chosen the good part and you chose to stay with it. And because you've chosen it, God's got a blessing for your mothers um, that you can't outlive. Hallelujah. Glory to God. God has a blessing for you. Your name, hallelujah, will be remembered in the good deeds that you've done because you chose God. There's something about choosing the right thing. There's something about making the wise choices. There's something about prioritizing. And, and that's essentially what the whole text was about in discipleship, prioritizing. So there's something about prioritizing. Glory to God. There's so many things will vie for your attention. So many things that will try to tell you, do this, do this. You ain't got time for that. But you've come. Many of you come to Bible study weekly. Many of you, you sit down and you try to study the word and read. Many of you sit and you listen intently and take notes when you hear it. You're, you're, you're being discipled and you're choosing the right thing and the Lord sees what you're doing and God is not going to cause you to go unrewarded but he's going to reward your life and the best is yet to come hallelujah <laughs> glory to God I believe that because God is faithful mothers You've been faithful. You've been, and as I was thinking about the mothers during this week and prayerful, uh, it was almost like the many of the mothers you've chosen to love. You've chosen to love and to forgive. When it wasn't easy, when people hurt you, broke your heart, um, said bad things about you, and caused you to feel miserable. But you've chosen to forgive because you've chosen the right part. You knew that God was pleased with forgiveness, and you wanted to keep your relationship with him. So you chose to forgive. You chose the good part. Hallelujah. You're prioritizing what God said. And God now, he says he's going to reward you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Some of us are going to have long life. Hallelujah. And, and he's going to bless us with the abundance of peace. When you choose the right part, there's peace. When you choose the right part, uh, uh, there's eternal values. Glory to God. You look beyond the natural and you begin to see and you begin to build your hope on things that were eternal. You begin to live like a pilgrim and a stranger and a sojourner in this land. And therefore, God has chosen a city for you. A city, hallelujah, <laughs> glory to God, which has foundations and, and whose builder and maker is God. Mothers, I want to salute you today because you've made the right choice. You've chosen it and God's got a blessing for you. God's got things for you that have never been even spoken about. But the Spirit of God is going to begin to to reveal those things to you what God has for you and your name is blessed your memory hallelujah the memory of your life is blessed because you've chosen the best part but then God also said there's some that have not yet received when you reached out to love you haven't received love in return but God is going to heal those wounded places. Um, hallelujah. Where you dare to love. Uh, and it looked like it came back in another form. But God is going to do it like he said he's going to do. He's going to heal that heart. And he's going to give you peace. You've chosen 
eternal values. Glory to your value system. You prioritized when others didn't understand what you were doing. When loved ones didn't understand. Maybe there were other sisters that didn't understand. But mothers, you made the right choice. And God salutes you. And I salute you today. Hallelujah. Keep on doing what you're doing. Hallelujah. Don't you dare throw in the towel don't you dare get weary and say enough is enough but you gird up the loins of your mind and begin to say no 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 i know i've made the right choice i know i've taken a stand for jesus and i'm going to continue to do what because the lord is faithful he's a faithful god and he will come through for you he's coming through for you just as sure as you're living he's coming through for you hallelujah he's coming through and he's going to come through in a marvelous magnificent way hallelujah like you've not seen before because you've chosen the good part you chose to be a pupil of god you chose to be a disciple you've chose to learn you've chose to lay down your life that you might take it up again You've chosen to deny yourself. Uh, hallelujah. So the Lord wants you to be encouraged today, mothers. Uh, glory to God. Uh, thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Oh, bless the Lord for his goodness and for his mercy toward us. Glory to God. And then praise the Lord. I believe when Jesus got ready to lead the disciples out before his ascension, I believe it was Luke began to point out that there was something special about the place Bethany. He led them out as far as Bethany. And then he began to bless them and then he just went right on up. There was something about that little town which was called the house of unripe figs. There's something about that place that was called the house of misery that God delighted in. And you may look at your situation and, and it may be like a, a place of misery. I look at my background and look at this. You said it was a place of misery. But God drew nigh to you like he did Martha and Lazarus and Mary. <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory to God. He drew nigh to you. He drew nigh to you. He took notice. He took a special interest in your situation. Hallelujah. Like he did them. And I began to wonder, God, what do I, I don't understand. How, how, why, what drove you? What made you just seem to just take and gravitate toward this little old town, which was on the slope uh, 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 of, of Mount, the Mount of Olives and, and a little place that was, uh, 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 had that kind of name. Uh, what, what did you see in these people? You see, Jesus don't see people like we see them. He saw the heart. And, 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 and what I believe he said to me, and he says, in spite of their situation, he said, they had a special love for me. And I thought about it and says, wow, you know, God don't look at how bad your situation is and say, Lord, I don't know if I can use them. He, he, he's not like that. He's not like that. He looks at that heart. And if he finds a heart that will serve him and trust him, he knows what he can do. Hallelujah. <laughs> Glory to God. Hallelujah. So here it is, 2,000 years. I'm still talking about Mary. Hallelujah. I'm still talking about the same Mary that God promised her. Wherever this gospel is preached, your situation, what she did is going to be mentioned. And here I am talking about the broken alabaster box. Here I am talking about this same Mary. Here I am talking about Mary that took the hair of her head and anointed the feet. Because the word of the Lord, hallelujah, is faithful. And God will be faithful to you. He'll be faithful to you. He'll be faithful to you. Stay faithful to him. Look at somebody and say, I'm going to remain faithful. I'm I'm going to remain faithful because I heard the word of the Lord. God is faithful. It may look like he's not coming through sometime, but I can assure you today that just as sure as heaven is happy, God's going to come through for you and he'll begin to roll back the things, move them out of your path and begin to raise you up. Hallelujah. Like you've never seen before. He's still God and he's still able to do it. Somebody, can you join me? Stand up and give him some praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Oh, yes, 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 yes. And that glory of the Lord is upon us. And your healing is very near. Hallelujah. 
Some of you have been waiting for a long time for a special healing from God. I want you to know that healing is nearer you than you've ever seen before. Some of you have been waiting for deliverance from God. But I have you to know by the Spirit of God. God says, I heard your prayer 20 years ago. I heard your prayer 40 years ago. And I'm not about to change my mind. I'm going to deliver you. I'm going to set you free because I promise to set you free. And my word will not return to me void of power. But it shall accomplish everything I purpose that it would do for you hallelujah 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 praise him somebody hallelujah hallelujah i salute you mothers you've had a hard time but i want to salute you now you chose to forgive you chose to do it god's way you've chose to deny yourself you've chose even though it cost you tears at night sometimes it costs you sleepless nights but you've chosen the better thing and god wants you to know that it'll never be taken away from you it'll not be taken away from you but it'll go on into eternity hallelujah hallelujah glory to god hallelujah hallelujah Glory to God. Hallelujah. You've chosen the good part. Hallelujah. And it'll never be taken away from you. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. Ah, let's give him thanks for this day. Happy Mother's Day to the mothers. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. This is your special day and I thank God for placing it on the calendar in the United States of America. Somehow agreeing that there would be a day set aside out of the 365 or 66 days of the year that is especially noted to give honor to the mothers. Hallelujah. Mothers. God loves you so much that he was behind this thing. It wasn't just man's nice decision because the Bible, because they put America in the hands of God initially. Well, they said, in God we trust. They put it on the coins. In God we trust them. And this shall be our motto. In God be our trust. And so God, when they began to do this, God began to put certain things in place for them. And so this Mother's Day was more God's plan than anyone else. God bless you. God bless you. You may be seated. Hallelujah. Glory to God. God bless all of you today. Hallelujah. He's purposed. Hallelujah. To do you good. Hallelujah. And Mary in the Bible, this Mary that was the mother of Joseph, said, Be it unto me. Even as you said. Hallelujah. Glory to God. She was like a laughing stock at first because people didn't understand that God could do anything. So she became pregnant and Joseph was about to put away, put her away. He was so embarrassed. But then the angel came, said, Don't fear to Take your wife. That thing which is born of her is of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. And ah, she became honored. Honored by God. And when you make right choices for God, never fear. Because God honors those right choices. He honors every time you prioritize them. He honors every time it feel like a, you said, boy, I could be doing something else. I, but but it deep, deep inside of you, there's something that tells you you're doing the right thing. You stay with it. Hallelujah. And don't you let it go. Hallelujah. <laughs> Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Father, I want to thank you now for the precious mothers. I want to ask us to stand again. Thank you for the mothers. Thank you for everyone that's here under the sound of my voice. I want to thank you, Lord God, for the years that they've spent toiling. Oh, God, through some time, bitterness, through pain, through fears. Oh, God, but they're still here. 
and still determining, Lord, to hear a word from God. Determining, Lord God, to take that word, oh God, and apply it to their lives. I thank you, Father. Let this salutation, oh God, go out to them this day. That you, Lord, you appreciate the mothers. In the name of Jesus Christ. Bless them immensely, O oh God. And bless those that have felt that the love was not returned to them, although they've chosen to love. But, O oh God, I thank you for honoring them and blessing them in a very way to let them feel the love that comes from you today. In the precious name of Jesus Christ, we thank you, Holy Father. Heads are bowed and eyes are closed. Oh, Lord, we praise you. If there's anyone here today that you do not know Jesus Christ in the pardon of your sin. If you're here and you want to give your life over to Jesus Christ, our heads are bowed and eyes are closed. If you say, Preacher, I'm not saved. I want to be saved. I've been thinking about it for a while now. I want to give my life over to Jesus Christ. I want to serve him. I want to prioritize. I've been busy doing a lot of things. I've been doing a lot of things to please Jesus. But Mary, I heard today, she's chosen a better thing. You may be listening to me by way of television. And you may have, with your temperament, you may have just tried to please Jesus through your service and not through a relationship but Jesus wants you to know that relationship first and out of a relationship with the Savior will come the divine life that will spill over and touch other people's lives Father I thank you touch them Lord if they're listening by way of television minister hope again minister strength to these father in the name of Jesus Christ I will give your name the glory there's a touch of your healing love that is awaiting now for those that has been discouraged that those that need to be encouraged today Lift up now the light of your holy countenance. Let it shine on them, Father. And bless them with your peace. We'll give all the honor to you. And saw your